Hey guys, we're here in Ohio. It's the 1st of March. We're at the Deco Creek Show. Coming in to check it out. Alright, here we go. Looking for a parking spot. Yeah. Looks like one right here. holding at the fairgrounds this year usually it's at their own place so in that big tent over there they got all kinds of demos and then in here in the buildings all the vendors and stuff so go and just check it out take a walk around I really thought it was already gonna be hey. morning Hey, how are you this good, morning? Good. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I just wanted to be on your video. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you anyway? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> hey, guys. So most of you probably already know Ryan. He has a super cool YouTube channel called Victory Outdoor Services. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link for it down below. But he's also a really good concrete dude too. So he does a lot of concrete. So make sure you check him out. Let's take a walk around here. So all the vendors, all the vendors set up here in the building. <clears throat> a lot of ones you guys probably heard about. MBW's over there, Marshalltown's here, Superior. These are the power trials we use. We got two of those. We got that, we got the compactor, we got the Scree Demon. All kinds of concrete stamps. I like these wood barn board ones right here. I think we're going to get those. Look at all the hand tools they got. Holy cow. Edgers, groovers, joiners, steel trials. Skids. How much are there? Skids. That's how much skids are right there. Those are the ones we use most. Alright, let's go check out the live demos. I know they were doing some overlays, they were doing some carving, a lot of vertical stuff. Let's see what they're doing today, they're doing some stairs. There's some stairs they poured yesterday, they stamped them. They look pretty good. There's Jeff over there. Doing some uh, simple overlay stuff. Wood plank here, like the flagstone there. I think you're gonna do a broom finish over there. All right, so they're gonna get ready to stain this stuff. They're gonna use a couple different stains. <clears throat> what they're using today? What they're using today is this stuff right here, water-based Deco Crete's own water-based stain. Kind of a new product they're putting out. So they're gonna mix up a few different colors. They're gonna paint it on the wood grain here. We'll just watch him do this, see what happens. All right, so when I'm coloring these wood planks, it's all in technique, you know, diff using multiple different colors to make it actually look like wood. The overlay they put on was real thin. It's like eighth of an inch thin. Put it on just with a hand trowel. And the technique to get the wood grain is used when you put the overlay on and the, with a hand trowel. And then now we just got individual color to make it actually look like wood. Have you got 
I've never ever done one job ever and said, oh yeah, that's perfect. That didn't so that's the only reason I have Ryan come to this whole show, because he's like one of the best in the country at doing this. He is. So I got my chisel and my step finishing box, ball peen hammer. Why do you why do you think I have a ball peen hammer? So if we have any surface cracking up, you guys ever seen that where you get like a little crack? Uh, maybe you just stamp it and it pushes it out a little bit. So this hammer, if you take that, when you get those little surface crusting cracks, if you, you tap them, it closes them back up the next day. Starting to mix the uh, different colors, different colors with it. getting right, the get all more different natural look of the stones. Um, Jeff's over here mixing up some more color. Yeah. Starting to look pretty good. We're gonna check back in a little bit yeah, later. Colors, hey, What's up, Mike? Jeff from Deco Creek. So this was a regular, just plain old concrete slab they poured yesterday. And then they washed it, exposed the aggregate. They actually introduced some aggregate around the border to give it a little different look. Got the stencil in there. So just regular plain gray concrete. And they ended up making it pretty decorative. This guy over here has been carving some vertical concrete. Broom finished concrete, just a regular slab of broom finished concrete. Had some graving done and then they individually colored everything around the border. That looks really nice. You can really make a piece of regular concrete look pretty decorative. A lot of carving stuff going on, a lot of vertical carving. Yeah, making that look like a piece of wood right there. That's pretty cool. Putting the color to it now. Got a tree there they carved. These guys made that fountain out of concrete. They got all the molding there. That's the finished product. This part of the base, there's the mold over there. Pretty talented. This was all made out of concrete. Got some stamp concrete, joints, barn board stamps over there carved rock uh, we do the stamping the stamp. yeah, yeah stamped overlays stuff like that none, yeah. of the, none of the carving or anything yeah, like that we don't, we don't. yeah it's kind of nice though looks good yeah looks really nice wow that really looks like wood but it feels like concrete Hey guys, here's Superior's booth with Magby. There's What's up, Mike? Scott right there. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good to know see you. Were here. Yeah, I got awesome. here yesterday. How you doing? Good. I wanted to show you this. Yeah, I, I saw you showing it to her. Thanks. Removable, Tell me how that works. Removable blade. Yeah. So again, this is just 3D printed right now, just to see the concept. But uh, slide it on there. Yeah. If you don't like this handle, light, very it's light. not going to be plastic. Yeah. Oh. It, it'll be cast aluminum. This is, can you believe this is printed on a, a computer? Yeah. <laughs> so let's say you don't like this handle, take the handle off, you can put on a different loop handle. Yep. Or let's say, you, you know when you're doing a house with like stucco and the patio goes underneath yep. and your joint handle hits. Right. So now you'll be able to slide back your handle and slide underneath under. the stucco. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, your carrying case here. Um, so if you have like six guys on your crew, now now their joints all don't line up. Right. So if you're doing a big project, you just buy them new grooves, yep. new blades. Now everyone's groovers can be identical. That's cool. Yeah, we need that. So this is going to come out next year. So that's new. Um, did you see the pole scoop? So two brothers out of Washington. I saw that yesterday. What, I was wondering what that was. So when you have a low spot, what do we do? We grab a huge shovel and we throw, we yeah. throw it out there, splatter the house. So now you can put this on a snap hole, scoop the concrete that you need, go yeah. right where you need to dump it, and dump it. Good idea. It's yeah. a great little idea. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen my rakes, but what what breaks on a rake? Those those right. aluminum rods. Yep. yep. So we do a one piece. And then we also make it so you, it goes onto a snap handle. Yep. So how many contractors have a whole bunch that these are bent, they can't use? Yep. So instead of throwing this away, cut the pole down a different length so you have different size handles. And just put it on there so it's nice and tight. 
The other cool thing, do you see these notches? Yeah. So when you're spreading out gravel, it's your gauge rate, turn it sideways, four inch, six inch, eight inch. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How heavy is it? Watch your head. Yeah, that's wicked light. Yeah, it's light. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone thinks it's heavy, but it's yeah. light. I've sold these for two years now, never had one break. So we're trying to improve things. Yep. This is another version. So that one will accept the, the inch and three quarter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then it, that's 19 inches wide. 19. This one was 24. Are you still using the Pro Tilt? Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah. The original. So we just improved that one. Yeah. So now I think you'll love it because look at our pitch. Our pitch goes oh, all wow. the way up. Yeah. So now if you're up on a wall, you'll be able to float directly beneath you. Right. Where the other one stops because of the pitch. Yep. The angle. Yep. So, uh, and you never have to grease this one. We run into that jumping out of basements. Yeah. Pulling the ladder out. Yeah. Trying to fit. All right, let's get back. Check this out. They got this all colored. That looks pretty cool. It's like real wood. Now they're getting over here, they're coloring these flagstones. Same way, all by hand. A lot, of, a lot of work by hand, but it makes it look really nice. It's all water-based water -based stains, too. Got them all mixed up right here. Pretty easy to use. Don't have to worry, really worry too much about getting any on you. All right, so we're gonna get ready to seal this. They got it all colored. They used some acetone dye in there to get the colors. And then uh, over here, these guys are spraying on some color on this polished concrete. Taping off sections, making them all different colors. So we'll keep checking that out. That's a concrete overlay right there. It's about three eighths to a half inch thick over another slab. And then they ground it, polished it with that, that machine right there. Got the aggregate in it. All right, he's got his got his sprayer there. It was a battery battery pack hooked up to it. Checking his tip. This is the D1 decorative decocrete sealer, solvent based sealer. Just gonna just spray it on. You don't roll it on the stuff like this when we stain, because it'll reemulsify the stain a little bit. So you got to spray it on. Nice and light, just a light, easy coat. Probably put two or three of them on. So you can see how the sealer really pops the colors. Experience right there. See how much darker that is with the sealer. It'll end up being that dark after they put all the coats of sealer on. That's the artist right there, Rick Lobdell, the guy with the black shirt with the white circle. He's the one that, that did all the work. All right, so acetone with the dye in it. It's gonna dry really, really quick. Got a compressor over there with his little spray gun. Got the dye in the spray gun right there. So they just make sure they poly everything off real good so they don't get different colors on different sections. Good thing about the acetone dye is it dries really, really quick, so you can recoat right over it in just a matter of minutes if you need to. It's 
see how fast it dries right in front of your eyes. So he's just adding a secondary color over that first color of blue. It's kind of like a leather tan to me. That's one one basic way to stain concrete right there is just use that setup, use the compressor, and you don't lose any pressure. This is versus using a pump-up sprayer. You get even pressure throughout the whole process. It doesn't really take, you see that, that cup is only that's only about a quart cup. It doesn't really take a lot of stain to, to put down the color. This is this is Bob Harris with the Decorative Concrete Institute that's doing this work. So he's he's been doing the polishing, now he's doing the staining and coloring. That's what's good about using acetone right there. You can go right back over something. If it looks like it's a little thin or a little bit light, it dries so quick, you can just go right back over it. You can come back, spray a second color on if you want. All right, so here's the finished product after they pulled all the plastic and the tape. All acetone, acetone stain dyed. Couple saw cuts in there for dec make it look decorative. That looks really good. All right, so back back to our wood planks here that have been stained, and then our kind of like our flagstone. They got the flagstones all stained with the water-based dyes. Again, that's how they do it right there. Just mix mix powder with water. Got their own formulation, and then they just hand brush all them on. So that looks pretty cool. Those are all those are all taped joints, so it's overlay over the tape, pull the tape to get the joints. To make it look like flagstone. These are cut in with a knife. All these joints are cut in with a with a knife. So there's a couple different ways you can cut the joints in with that, but that looks really good too. Alright, so show's pretty much over. I want to go around and just show you some of the finished product here before we get out of here. You know, all these this was all sculpted by hand coated with epoxy again this stuff's all hand sculpted vertical concrete stuff they auctioned this stuff off so people people bought this through an auction and then they gotta they gotta come pick the stuff up probably not this flat work stuff but all the carved stuff with decorative concrete here the, they put epoxy in there to make it look like water Room finished concrete. That was in, that was all engraved. So that was a saw that engraved all the joints, and then that was all colored with dye. This is again vertical, hand carved concrete. Started raining here earlier, so that's if you see any water coming down, that's why. This was a set of steps, concrete, they got their own forms for this, those came out really, really good. And then again, uh, the planks, fieldstone, colored with water-based dyes. This wall over here, this was all hand carved right here. So this, is, this stuff is about an inch thick, you can see, just put right on wood. And then the, the guys carved it all by hand colored it looks really cool both sides that's some really cool stuff right there so that's it guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one